Welcome back. Children 5 to 11 can now receive doses of the Pfizer vaccine at UMMC's Batson Kids Clinic. And while this comes as welcome news to many parents, some still aren't so sure. Joining us now is UMMC's pediatric chair, Dr. Mary Taylor. And Dr. Taylor, thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Glad to be here. Let's start with breaking it down for us. How safe is this vaccine for children? Um, it's very, very safe. The American Academy of Pediatrics strongly recommends people to get vaccinated and children to get vaccinated. Um, the 12 and over children have been um, approved for vaccination for a bit now. And just recently, the 5 to 11 year old children have been given emergency use authorization. And it does sound a little bit scary that it's an emergency use, but it's very, very, very safe. It's been administered to many, many children. And we started administering it this week at our Bats and Kids Clinic. Um, and it's available for people to call in and get a schedule to come in um, any day by the end of Friday to have that done. And it's very highly recommended. Dr. Taylor, are there any children who shouldn't get this vaccine, some medical reason or something like that? Um, no, there's not really any um, what's called a contraindication other than if you're um, ill at the time, um, you should avoid getting the vaccination if you're currently sick. Um, your pediatrician can recommend you to get the vaccine. You know, should check with your pediatrician, particularly if you have any particular illnesses, like maybe a heart condition. But even those types of children are really vulnerable to getting COVID-19, and it would be important for those children particularly to get vaccinated because children with respiratory problems or other chronic illnesses are um, really vulnerable to being quite sick with COVID-19, so it's important to prevent the illness. Any notable side effects from the vaccine? The main side effects are, are very minor, like low-grade fever, some achiness, maybe some injection um, site discomfort. Um, there is a condition that has been very loosely associated with the um, vaccination. Um, it's really more associated with the illness itself. It's called um, MISC. It stands for multi-system inflammatory um, system illness in cardiac. It affects the heart muscle and makes the heart muscle weaker. It's very, very rare. Um, it can happen in children, but it's more common when they have COVID-19. There's some very, very um, rare occurrences with the vaccination, but the risks of COVID-19 far outweigh the risk of the vaccination. So people should really proceed. And um, there are lots of studies that have already been done, you know, with regard to that. Dr. Taylor, you know, our children are, seems like they're getting uh, vaccines all the time anyway. So is this vaccine safe to take in combination with other vaccines? Yes, it is. Um, most you know, for example, we suggest giving the flu vaccination this time of year, and the flu vaccine and the COVID vaccine can be given simultaneously at the same time. Um, yes, it is safe to give with other vaccinations. Um, really, the main thing that you should avoid is if you're sick with fever or have some other illness at that particular time. But other than that, it's really um, safe to do just as much as you would for any other vaccination series. Right, that is wonderful. Dr. Mary Taylor, Chair of Pediatrics at UMMC, thank you so much for being with us.